let us discuss the shitting of pants. Ooh, goody. Vince McMahon. Uh, Dread Emperor of the WWE. Meme God. Meme God. Yeah. And absolutely. The, the source of all the greatest stories. Practically of all time. The man Whenever who s- thinks sneezing is for pussies. The man who thinks sneezing is for people <laughs> who lose control. Who gets upset when anyone sneezes in his presence. Uh, the man who tried to outlift world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And uh, basically, like, almost paralyzed himself the next day. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that! The man who laughed hysterically at, um, uh, who was it? Someone farted and, like, and, and another wrestler passed out because it was so gross. And Vince thought that was the funniest shit ever. So then the next day at Raw, backstage, he went to the same guy. And then he went and tried to fart. And he pushed too hard and he shat his pants. But then... Later that night, he still had to go out and do a promo in the ring. Yeah. So they then instructed the camera to stay above Vince's waist for the entire promo. <laughs> Wait, he couldn't. <laughs> that was, was not no a time. salvageable situation. <laughs> There's no time. Dude. No time. Ludwig, what part don't you understand about there was no time? <laughs> well, the part where he said later that night. Um, Okay. <laughs> The man who destroyed both quads just getting into a ring and demanded that he continue an entire tirade sitting on the floor of the ring because he refused to let anyone know that he had blown out both his quads. Uh, The man who did not want to hire any Asian woman until JR told him that, you know, some. Some people find Asian women very attractive and had to back it up by showing him that there's lots of porn with Asian women in them, at which point Vince went, oh, I didn't know that. I guess we'll hire one then. Like, he has finally been defeated. (laughs) How was he defeated, Willie? Well, you would think that um, a defibrillator like health scare type thing might might be uh one that would slow someone down from working but if you go and look at the fact that like rick flair is still fucking uh alive and doing wrestling shows it's like no some of these dudes just keep it going uh by the way when rick flair uh (laughs) when rick flair was um there was something that happened with him that was a health scare And, like, he was, like, unconscious and, like, possibly, like, possibly clinically dead for, like, a second or something happened. And at the time, I I think Hulk Hogan's tweet upon hearing the news was, kick out, brother. (laughs) (laughs) This fucking carny shit. I mean, I... <laughs> so, what finally did Vince in? Uh, health issues led to him uh, having, again, like he had some chest defibrillation thing going on where he had to stop working for six months, combined with scandal and and uh, uh, some uh, not-so-good things coming about uh, him... And and some woman, and it's seems... oh, you mean how he allegedly uh, uh, sexually assaulted many women over the course of his career at WWE, and, and then also cheated on his wife a bunch and used company money to pay them off, and created a uh, basically a background of um. He was the untouchable guy, of course, for all these years, and he's that kind of insane person. Of course he's going to use company money for those things. Of course that's going to be what's happening. And uh, allegedly, uh, Allegedly. all these things, allegedly all these things then 
lead to uh, him taking a break. People kind of going like, "Uh oh, looks like, looks like there's no really there's no kicking out of that one for Vince." And then a tweet where he says, "Yep, uh, I finally decided to retire at 77, and Triple H is now taking over." So, now, I feel like one of two things is going to happen. He's either going to live for 50 more years, or he's basically going to die immediately. Those types of old, crazy people, when they finally alive. leave their work. Hmm. One or the other. Could be. Could be. Uh, either way. Depends I mean, how good the juice is. Either way, like, this is, like, one of the most insane people ever uh, who, according to most, like, active wrestling fans, which, again, I'm not going to pretend that I'm up to date on, on the week-to-week -week, uh, You're business. a former smark. Former. Um, but, it's, but the general consensus is that um, he single-handedly is, like, holding the entire industry back uh, because he's insane and that like anyone else taking over even if they've got their own issues with how they treat the business like Triple H is still a market improvement um, not just for uh, WWE but for like all other promotions uh, I feel like you don't need to be an active fan of pro wrestling to know that Vince has been ruining wrestling for like 30 years yeah like me <laughs> like <laughs> i watched wrestling for like a few weeks when it was on tv which was like never before done like in high school or something yeah and, and i got enough information to kind of keep to up to date with like i hey i knew who fucking drax was before he was in the movie like right yeah yeah, yeah Vin Vince has been a, an overt problem for everybody forever. He's omnipresent. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah, again, yes. which is why I use the term defeated, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? A man like Vince, it's it's more than just, like, a, a, a cancellation or a, 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 a firing or a stepping down or a retirement, as he says. It is truly defeating a force. Um, you know, it's... It's wild to me because, like, not to in any way uh, belittle any of the current accusations or, like, clear allegations against him. But what blows me away is the fact that, like, dude covered up at least a one murder. And that one he skated on. Like, nobody even talks about that anymore. Superfly Snooka? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. When Jimmy's girlfriend just disappeared and Vince tells the cops not to worry about it. And so they stopped worrying about it? Yeah. Like, you think that would have done him in? That's a fucking murder. Wrestling. He obviously did a good job. I had no idea about that one. That one oh, yeah. Right Jimmy Snoo Superfly Snooka had a long-term abusive relationship with his girlfriend, and then one day she just went away. And he was obviously the prime suspect, and then Vince tells him, tells the cops, ah, don't worry about it, it wasn't Jimmy. And the cops go, okay. It wasn't Oof. Jimmy. Oof. Yep. Defeated. Defeated. Um, ripping shit, you old bastard! I, congrats, world! I well, here's the thing: is will will time pass, and then he will be like, "God damn it, I want another shot." No, you know? well, you know what you're gonna see? You're gonna see XFL again. Well, The Rock bought it, so when you do oh, see God, it again, see the, the ZFL, fuck yeah! Me. When the when you do see the XFL again, it'll be because The Rock is bringing it back. Maybe so. he'll go back to trying to fuck up, like, worldwide competitive bodybuilding again. <laughs> I mean, whatever the fuck it is, dude, like, those things are... His body will eventually deflate. Like, there, there's a time limit on the steroids. And, and it'll it, it's gonna look, again, like an inflated balloon 
you know, slowly, slowly over time uh, becoming the age that he actually is. Do you, do you think that it's possible that in, instead he expands until he bursts in a public place? Like a, like, a, like a sausage you left in the microwave too long? I think that's a possibility, yes. That is definitely a possibility. And if he makes a loud noise in that bursting, he'd be super pissed because it'd be like he's not... Get a hold of yourself, <laughs> goddammit. What are you doing making noises? Uh. Um, yeah, man. <sighs> that's, that's, that's a fucking wild one. Um, Great, good. Yep. I, I have a feeling the story ain't over. I have a feeling more and more to come. But uh, we'll oh see. yeah, we'll see. Oh, there's goes. gonna be more. There's gonna be lots more. Um, <sighs> yeah. Okay. That's that's the news. That's the news.